Hi everyone, Angela here. For this project, I'll be using some of the items that came in the Sweet Pea Ultimate Beginners Pack. You can find the link for this down in the description below. For the outer layer of the pouch, I'll be using their Perfect Pro PU Faux Leather. It has a pebbled texture in lolly pink. Check which way the leather is not as stretchy and we'll cut the width of the pouch along this direction. Using the large quilting ruler and a utility knife, I'm cutting two rectangles 9 inches wide by 6 inches long. On the bottom of each piece, cut away 1 inch squares. For the lining, I'm using the Sweet Shop cotton fabric. Cut two pieces the same size as the outer layer. Now you can leave it at this size, but I like to remove bulk by cutting away quarter of an inch from the bottom and then from the top mark down an inch and a half and then in a quarter of an inch on both sides. Starting from the bottom, cut away quarter of an inch and then angling out that cut to that one and a half inch mark. Repeat on the other side. Also from Sweet Pea, I'm using their size 3 metallic look nylon teeth zipper tape. It comes with their signature metal zipper pull. Cut a length about 10 and a half inches so that it's about an inch and a quarter longer at each end. Center it with teeth side down onto the right side of the leather, quarter of an inch down from the top edge and clip in place. Increase the stitch length to 3. Next we'll just sew a holding stitch to keep the zipper in place. Stitch about a sixteenth of an inch in from the edge of the tape. There's no need to back stitch. Next, flip the zipper up and place the vinyl pieces right sides together. Match the sides and again have the zipper quarter of an inch down from the top edge and clip in place. Make sure the other side matches as well. Stitch the other side of the zipper, trim all your threads and then separate it. With right sides together, place one of the vinyl pieces on top of a lining piece, match the top edge and clip together. Repeat with the other pieces. To sew the zipper between the two layers, I'm just using the standard presser foot. With the vinyl on top, have the edge of the presser foot right against the edge of the zipper teeth. Start by back tacking, and while you're stitching, just use your fingers to gently push the zipper teeth against the edge of the zipper foot. Back tack to finish, and then repeat with the other piece. Flip it over so the lining's on top, open it up so that all the seams are to the right. Have the edge of the foot along the edge of the lining. Top stitch both pieces and pull the fabric tight so that it's nice and flat. Fold over both pieces so that the zipper teeth are in the center. This is the front of the slider with the pull tab and this is the back. We want to slide the zipper teeth into this shoulder opening here and the tape in between this narrower gap. Insert both sides of the zipper teeth about halfway. Make sure the ends of the zipper tape are even. Give it a little push, hang on to the ends of the tape and then pull it up. Make sure the edges of the pouch are even. Don't worry if the zipper tape is a little bit off. Pull the slider all the way up and off the ends. Flip it over, pull the lining taut and then give each side along the zipper a light press and flip it over again. Attach the slider again and then pull it up leaving a small opening in the center. If you're having difficulty attaching the slider, another method is to cut away about half an inch of teeth on one side, push up the slider and then gently feed in the other side. Now fold so that the vinyl pieces are right sides together and the linings are right sides together. We'll leave an opening here at the bottom of the lining. Place clips to mark it. Match the vinyl bottom edges and clip together. At the sides, push the teeth of the zipper towards the vinyl, match the edges of the tape and clip together. 
clip the side edges and then turn to the other side. Again fold the zipper tape in half with the edges matching and the teeth towards the vinyl. Then clip the rest in place. We'll start our stitching from this end of the opening. Using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, start by back tacking, stitch right to the edge and back tack. Lift the foot, pivot around to the next edge, back tack and stitch following the curve of the lining. Stitch until you're just before the teeth and back tack. You don't want to stitch over the zipper teeth. Lift your foot and skip over the teeth and back tack just beside it. Continue stitching around, back tacking on each end. When you come around to the zipper again, stop just in front of the teeth and back tack. Again, skip over the teeth, back tack and continue stitching around until you get to the other end of the opening and back tack to finish. Trim all the threads and just check that the zipper teeth are not caught in the seams. Separate the seams at the bottom of the lining and press open. Flip over and then turn over the other side of the seams and press flat. This is optional. On the bottom of the vinyl, apply double sided tape to the seams on both sides. Press down firmly and then go in through the opening. Remove the backings a little bit at a time, separate the seams and press flat. Add all the corners, separate the sides, match the seams together and clip in place. Using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, stitch across the corners, back tacking at the start and finish. To sew the vinyl corners, you may need to change to a Teflon foot so that it doesn't stick. Trim down the zipper tape, making sure to leave a good half inch from the edges. Turn right side out, match the folds of the opening, edge stitch to close, back tacking at the start and finish. Put in the lining and push out both corners. Without adding any zipper tabs, you have a nice wide opening at the top. Close the zipper and pull at the ends to get nice rounded corners. Make sure to have a look at some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing!